Howdy guys, Sniper Lazeman here. Welcome back to Let's Play Alpha Protocol. So in the last episode there, uh, we finished up the rest of the train yard uh, mission. Had the had actually had that talk with Gregordy and uh, talked about THQ's uh, bankruptcy. So sad, so sad. Anyways, so let's get on some more more fun. I decided to start the episode here just to show that I'd got a little bit more money and I'm gonna buy uh, this tactical stealth armor, which gives me a uh, good amount more uh, endurance and uh, you know the sound damper and that's that's always helpful everything else that's you know not needed but that brings me down to almost nothing right there um, I forget if it actually becomes equipped right away let me take a quick check no it is not alright so good thing I came in here then um, alright, so I think that's about it all we need to do. Yes, as you so I ended up just selling, uh, uh, the other two weapons that I don't really use, which is the submachine gun and shotgun. I mean, I do use them, but for, like, this playthrough, for example, I'm basically going to be sticking with my, uh, my pistol. Um, alright, so we are good to go. But yeah, I basically, I basically stick, stick with my pistol throughout the entire game, if I can. Turn up anything, Mina? The name Grigori provided. Sergei Surkov. He's well connected in Moscow, and he may know what Halbeck's plans are. Any idea where I can find him? I've confirmed he's at the American Embassy now. He should be there for the next few hours, if his schedule holds. Good to hear. Is something wrong? Something's interfering with the signal. I'm going to switch to another frequency. What the hell? Mike, I understand you're going after Surkov. I suppose it's too much to ask to give me some warning before you interrupt my calls. We don't have a lot of time. I know about your mission, and I can assist you in getting to Surkov. When you arrive at the embassy, I can patch into your frequency and provide support as your handler. I think you'll find G-22's resources are considerable. All right. I could use all the help I can get. Excellent. I have your frequency. I'll contact you when you reach the embassy, and we can go from there. I'll get my gear and head out. All right. One last thing, Mike. I'd prefer infiltrating the embassy quietly. If things should get difficult, however... I'll be ready. Expecting trouble? Always. Great. What happened? I got cut off. Mina, I think Albatross is going to be joining us at the embassy. What? No time to explain, but I think we need to reach Surkov now. Oh yes. So now obviously I've chosen uh, Albatross as my handler for uh, the Surkov, for you know, for going after Surkov here. You can choose C, but uh, you basically miss out on uh, a certain. Uh, I guess certain segments. So this is the embassy, huh? I was hoping for something a little cheerier. There's still no contact from G-22. Do you want to call Mike, them? this is Albatross. Our surveillance indicates you're at the embassy perimeter. Can you confirm? I'm guessing that feedback means you've cut me off from my handler. I've locked down your signal to keep radio traffic to a minimum. It's a low probability embassy security will pick up our conversation, but I'm worried about other interests. Understood. Has your surveillance picked up anything else? We're checking the embassy grounds now. No sign of hostiles. Yet. Alright, let's see what we got at the front door. Embassy guards. Standard issue weapons. According to our intelligence, the embassy hasn't been alerted, so they shouldn't be expecting trouble. Still, approach with caution. Always. Alright, so now what we can do is either go right through the front door, talk our way through, or there is a back way uh, over there. So, really, I mean, it really all depends on which way you want to you wanna handle it. Well, you know, let's just go up here. This way, I, I usually pick this way anyways. You do kind of miss on a, just a mild conversation. It's not like it really affects anything. And for some reason, I don't have a tranquilizer on. There we go. 
All right. So as you can see, with this upgrade, um, I've got 20 more armor. Um, so that's that's always great. Definitely want to have. Definitely, you know, gonna gonna need to have and want to have a lot of armor as soon as I can get it. Really. All right. So let's try and bypass this keypad. Ooh, we are getting a little bit more tricky here. Two, three, four, five. In we go, and crap. Like Alright, so we got all these guys attacking each other. Great. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna nicely pick a lock away. And... Oh, crap, guy spotted me. I don't know where he is. Was it you? Was it you who shot me? I swear if it was, ooh, 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 you're gonna get it. Well, not really. I don't, I don't wanna kill you. Um, Down there, down. Oh, that's easy enough. Oh, it's over here. Eh, uh, nothing really needed. All right, so let's find out where where to go. All right, we're over there. Yeah, we'll just we'll, we'll screw off and leave those guys. Oh. Um. Oh yeah, right down here. Or over here, I think. Again. No. Not gonna try it. Come on, there we go. All right, so. Yes, yeah, so this is a pretty. This is a Decently long uh, mission, I'll say. Um, subjects. <laughs> uh, man, why am I so brain dead right now? It's only freaking. Well, it's 11. Right now it's 11.22, so. At night. I mean, this is probably like. I mean, for, for the past, like, what. Past like two weeks right now for some reason I've just been uh, I've been like going to bed around uh, I don't know anywhere between I'd say uh, eight o'clock at night and ten and that's uh, actually I'd say yeah no yeah I I I'd actually say about between eight and ten um so I mean nine twenty that's you know sort of. Uh, oh, that's right. I don't have the ability yet. Uh, should I just screw it? I'm just gonna walk right up to him. Take him out. This guy doesn't even s spot a thing. All right. So, but yeah, I, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why it's been that way. You know, two and a half, about two weeks of just going to bed early. And not only that, but, I mean, I'd go to bed around 9 or t 9 or something. And I can get up at, like, 5 in the morning. And, you know, and, and these are on school day. These are, you know, these are on school days, too, where I, you know, where I have to go to school. And, uh, sh uh I was trying to hopefully avoid that. All right, let's, uh. Do some steel core rounds. These will take out the uh, turret here fairly easily. Uh, there we go. Oh, no, one more. You want one more? There we go. Yeah, that's really the only, that's really the only thing about those uh, steel core ones. I mean, they're they're good for taking out guys with heavy armor, obviously. Uh, but other than that. You don't really want to use them, I guess. Take you out. Crap. Okay, get off the wall. Wow. 
Punch. Punch. <sighs> yeah, the, the, the actual hand hand combat stuff can be really stupid. Only because the guys block. Like, if you actually just keep on attacking, the guys will block, like, 95% of your attacks. That's why just doing, like, single punches works works the best. Alright, so that's, I believe that's Surkov. Yeah, that's Surkov over there. Let's, uh... Where is this last one go? All the numbers and the letters. The goddamn numbers. What do they mean, Mason? Yeah, I know. That armor you're wearing, are you one of these terrorists? If you intended to sneak in here, your plan seems to have backfired, judging from the gunfire and the people you've killed. If you are one of the attackers, whatever you're being paid, I can pay more. Turn up the feed. I want to hear his voice clearly. Good. You've got his attention. Now get his cooperation. Surkov, I am not here for your money, only information. But right now, I want to get you out of here, safely. Very well. I do not know who these attackers are, but I do know this embassy. Well done. Let's see what he has to share. The embassy security systems are our problem. The explosion has triggered the automatic security gates. They must be disabled if we want to escape the building. So I need to find the security terminal and then override the codes? Yes, the terminal is upstairs. But in the monitoring room next to us, there is a maintenance ladder. Take the ladder to the main security room upstairs. Unlock the gates. Then I can meet up with you at the courtyard. We don't have much time. The room Surkov mentioned right, should be close so by. Once he's inside, just, uh, look for a maintenance ladder leading up to the fourth floor. Business, I guess. Uh, yeah, we need to get over here. Alright, start, uh... Oh, just open the door. Uh, do we, do I even want to bother with, uh, oh, loading screen, okay. I'm not trying to think, do I, I'm not trying to think, do I even bother trying to just get rid of the, uh, alarm? Actually, I might as well just, there are more enemies that come up. Ooh, god, seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Oh, seven, seven, uh, level, uh, security thing. That's not good. <laughs> that means the game's getting harder. I don't like games that get harder. Alright, so. More explosions, really, guys? Crap. I don't know where to go to next. Which I do. Alright. Hey guys. Take you out. Take you out. <laughs> Try and take out. Oh. Cannot take out these guys. Wish I could. Alright, I don't think they, you know, no, yeah, they won't be able to see me. Alright, so I think going back over here would be the best bet. Hmm. Oh. Alright, come on, which, which can be the best way to get rid of these guys? I would like if he'd turn away. Oh, what? You turned away. That is no fair. No, that's that's unfair. You turned away. Alright. Whatever. Actually, I got pistol proficiency, so that should be a hundred, uh... Look at this guy. This guy's behind the door. Or... Bravo squad, look down. Bravo squad, <laughs> Uh, um, you, dude, <laughs> what is your problem? Okay, I'm going to go behind you then. Why can't I go, oh, okay. Can I sh at least shoot you? Now, 
Ah, uh, you know what? Screw him. <laughs> I'll leave it as that. We we'll just, we'll just, just screw him. All right, paid off as many briefcases and uh, other things as we can. We should be. Ah, oh, how do you do over there again? Oh, you know what? Of course, you gotta go this way in order to actually get. Oh my god, dude! If you. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. I'll leave that to just uh ah. Damn it. <laughs> All right, let me pull out my steel core bullet rounds again. I don't know if these critical hits count towards the actual Oh. All right. Yeah, I don't know these critical hits count towards the hundred critical hits you need for uh, for a trophy and uh, um, just for a skill point. Well, I, I don't even know if I can call them skill points. They're just little added things that give you. Uh... Oh, crap. Dude. 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 Not cool. Alright, man. Alright, come on. Let me just line you on my sights. Can you stay there for me? Thank you so much. I, I appreciate that. I really do. All right. Hopefully we should be. Uh, I'm at full health. Uh, all right. So let's hack the computer. Okay. So five. And right, that one's really right down there. Good. Nice and simple. Just I like to see. Security gates. Like to see nice and simple ones like those. Oh. Where are... Oh my god, you stare the crap out of me! You... Oh my god, get away from me! I'm holding down X to run! Oh my god, that guy scared the crap out of me. I don't know how he saw me. Okay, dude, leave me alone. I'm just gonna fully heal up. No, it's really gonna matter that much. Oh my god! What? Um. Uh, dad. Damn ride doll. Dad ride doll for sure. Oh, right. That was not fun. <laughs> I died from a grenade blast that I wasn't even near. Oh, but then at the end of this mission. Oh, I don't like it at all. Alright, so I actually made a little bit of a mistake. And I went. Okay, get these guys to start coming out. Are you guys gonna. No? Alright, I'll just hack this computer while you guys don't show up at all. Uh. Oh, right there. Ooh, learned a little bit of information about Scarlet Lake. Cool. Here, you guys. Here you go, guys. I'm trying to shut them down and cut off further can I do a critical? Yes. Now, I might as well just use it. And if I can, I can should be able to sneak right by. And then, you know, this is what I was trying to, uh, trying to do right here. Well, not that part of it. Um... Yeah, not that part. <laughs> All right, let's try. You uh um. Tonight, just I'm not even getting a critical marker 
to show up. Oh man, those guys are so good with throwing grenades. I hate them for it. Okay, the turret's down. I don't know why it's... Crap! Alright, yeah, that's why I like to see. You go over there. And, uh, let me just get a, uh, critical on you. And... Dude. <laughs> get over here. Just... Just get up. So I can shoot you. How did that one not work? Alright. The problem with now me being on... Being very low on tranquilizer, because I don't want to actually kill people. The only problem with that is... Oh, God. Yeah. Anyways, the only problem with that being is that... Uh... The end of this mission... Oh, boy. There's gonna be a crap ton of guys. And... I would like to avoid actually killing them... With, uh... You know, actual... Bullets. So... That's not going to be good. Alright, man. You just, just... No, no. No. There we go. There's one guy left. Nope. Okay, I think he's coming back this way. That thing is so annoying right now. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Can, can you just... You're just gonna die there if you stand there, right? You, you do know that. <laughs> All right, run! Oh my God! Stop shooting! You're the most annoying machines ever. I don't know what's more annoying: a, a, a machine that a, a, that annoyingly talks, or a machine that just shoots for no reason. Whatsoever. Uh, anyways. Alright. You're still shooting. There's nobody there. I'm just saying, there's there's nobody there. Oh. Oh, yeah, so this is where we came back out from. Or, I guess this is our, I guess why I should say this is where we entered. Oh, yeah. This next part. Uh, let me just say. Let me just say this part on hard is one of the most annoying parts of the entire game is this part on hard. Can you open the door? Alright, let's give this a go. I cannot get him. Alright, time to do stealth mode. Super, super stealth mode. Just take down everybody as fast as we can. And we're not going to be able to get this guy. Crap. Get him. Get him. See, it's a lot harder than it's... It, it, see, the actual thing on hard is a lot harder than I'm making it right now. Mainly because when these guys come up from behind you out of nowhere... All right. Yeah, see, this is exactly what I was talking about. Okay. Oh my god. F off. That's all I can say right now is just F the hell off. Yeah, of course, I have to protect Sirkov, but also protect myself. These guys won't stop moving. Yeah. Wow, you guys are doing a... I don't know who's doing a worse job. These guys that shooting Surkov or... Or Surkov himself trying to defend himself against a guy who's right in front of his face. Yeah, this is what I was trying to avoid when it came to this part. Oh, get him. Alright, good. I defended him. Ah. Oh. 
presume you helped me because I can help you. I'm here to find out what Halbeck's doing in Moscow, Surkov. I've been told you're the man to talk to. Should I be honored? But Halbeck? Why? It's my responsibility to find out what they're doing here in Moscow. Your responsibility? Forgive me, Mr. Thornton, but my understanding was that you are a rogue agent. That doesn't make me any less responsible to my country or to the world, Mr. Surkov. Can you help me? I will, gladly. Halbeck is smuggling weapons through Moscow. Was your country not already aware of this? I'm not sure how much my government really knows. There seems to be protocols in place to blind them to their own actions. Hmm. I do not know who Halbeck's contact is in Moscow, but it will not take me long to find out. I appreciate the cooperation. As I appreciate you saving my life, Mr. Thornton. I think our responsibility to our countries is something we see eye to eye on. Glad to hear it, Surkov. I look forward to hearing from you. Alright, good, good. Yeah, that's all I have to say at the end of this mission is good, good. But, no, seriously, I mean, 26 minutes in, where, you know, I think, what, 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 I was, like, halfway done the mission at, like, 11 minutes. Alright, so level up, and... Yes, finally did, did this ability. I've already leveled up, leveled up stealth to as high as I can, which it's been helping out pretty good so far. But finally, this move right here, right in the target of the guy, uh, from behind cover. Let's just say it's kind of the it's kind of the way of the game saying, "Hey, uh, we're gonna let, allow you to break the game." <laughs> Not saying why, but we're gonna let you break the game, basically. You know cover systems? Yeah. You know how you're supposed to move out of them and sh to shoot guys all the time? Yeah. Throw all that stuff out the window. You don't need to worry about that. Stay in cover and shoot a guy with perfect aim. Just as much of a badass as Mike Thornton attempts to be. <laughs> Alright, so let's quickly see what we have next. Alright, so we can, uh, we, all we have left is, uh, contact Surkov at his, uh, Moscow office. I just just find to find a little more information on, uh, Halbach, so, uh, so that's definitely gonna be it for, so, me for, so, uh, stumbling here, I'm going off to bed right now, so thank you guys for watching, uh, next episode we will go ahead and do that, and, uh, hopefully in the next episode or two we will finish off, uh, Moscow, and about, uh, a quarter... Uh, actually more, maybe more like a third of, uh, of protocol. So, uh, again, thank you guys for watching, and for Mike Thornton here, we sign off.